In today's video, I'm going to explain what women won't tell you when it pertains to the topic of love. There's something that most women will never tell you about love that I will tell you in this video. Gear up. It's going to be a bit of a harsh truth. I'm gonna get your wheels turning in a different direction than you're normal to. Because I was thinking about this earlier at work, because you know, you know, in between downtime, I like to silence and just think and ponder. And I was like, these guys need to know this message. They need to get this message. They need to talk. I need to tell them what it really is. Because a lot of you guys live in the illusion of what love is. And after I tell you this, this isn't going to, I don't want you to take this information and to not get into a relationship or not start a family or not do any of that. I don't want you to be under any illusions when it comes to the world around you. So before we get too far into the video, I just want to remind you guys, like, comment, subscribe. Share the video if you like the video. If you guys want to support the channel, Cash App, PayPal, Venmo is all in the description. The harsh truth about what women won't tell you about love. Women are incapable of loving you unconditionally. It's almost damn near impossible. The only woman that'll love you unconditionally, and this is not even 100% of times because a lot of dudes grow up with moms that don't give a damn about them. But the only way a woman will truly love you unconditionally is if that woman is your mother. This is why Wale says in that song Ambition, if I'm not mistaken, he talks about as long as a woman loves you, don't ever love a woman. So, what is what are you talking about, Miles? Okay, how are women so incapable of love? They're the emotional ones. They say they want acts of service, words of affirmation. All that shit is just smoke and mirrors. It's bullshit. It's just them needing their self-esteem their ego boost. Women, a drug for them is attention. They just need to have attention. The possibility of sex. It's just so exciting for them that they need to feel it from time to time. It's that chaotic thrill that they always need. So this is why women are incapable of loving you unconditionally she can love you it's just conditionally you have to meet the terms of the contract otherwise there is no contract if you do not provide resources or protect those resources and her there is no love now a lot of you guys will say well, my friend, he's in a relationship and his his wife loves him. You know, he's in a marriage and he's about to get married and he's doing all types of stuff. And they're, you know, lolly, goggy, Google, all, all that crazy stuff all over each other. So, Miles, what are you talking about? You look like they love each other. I guarantee you. See, he met the that person that you're talking about. He met the basics of what that woman was needing. He probably makes good money or good enough money for that woman. He probably has the resources or the potential to um, make big amounts of money and manage it properly. So after she figured those things out, okay, now she can look into your personality. Now your style, your swag, how you carry yourself your confidence, all that becomes relevant.
because you eliminate alleviated that stress from her mind now she can focus on the person and so yeah she probably does love that guy but i promise you if he lost it all tomorrow here's a question if you guys want to test it out because some of you women are or you want to test this on real life women and here's a question you asked him so let's say you're dating your dream guy he makes the has the status the money the looks but he loses all of it and for the rest of his life he will be living in a one bedroom apartment broke ask that woman would she put up with that see this is even good women guys <laughs> you guys know what a good woman is when it comes to the unconditional love the terms of the contract the good woman is just going to extend the warranty <laughs> See, if you're with a bad woman or a gold digger, the moment you fall off, she's gone that next day, that next week, that next month. See, a good woman, she'll extend it out like a year, six months to like two years max. But don't get it, don't get it messed up. No woman is going to struggle with you for 10 years. Now, you guys can bring up these examples of these exceptions to the rule. You go out and struggle for 10 years straight and see if you have a long-term relationship. You personally, try it. I promise you that will not work. But here's where things get interesting. This is where I'm gonna reverse your mind. So think about everything I just told you, right? Aren't men the only ones capable of loving unconditionally? Think about those simps, or what we call simps, hopeless romantic guys. They'll take care of kids that aren't their kids. They'll become a stepdaddy. Their wife will cheat on them, and they'll still stick with them. Their wife will come from a broken family, have a traumatized past, be broke, and the man will still love her. So men are the re really the only ones capable of love, unconditional love, and which ultimately leads to men are the romantics. Women aren't the romantics like you think they are. Women have some kind of fantasy swimming around in their head of what they want a relationship to be. A guy, once he falls in love, he already picturing the family, the kids, how you want to rail her in the, ba in, the, in the bedroom, all of that. Guys, think about back in junior high and high school. As soon as you you met a woman that you found attractive, you ain't even talked to this woman, but you already thinking about having sex with her, having a family, having kids. And this woman don't even know you exist. You up at night thinking about the woman, having dreams about her, and she don't even know who the hell you are. Men are the romantics. So take with this what you may, but women are incapable of giving you unconditional love. Your love comes with conditions, certain clauses that her, con that her contract doesn't have.
You guys can be upset with this, but it is what it is. And here's the, as I end the video, here's the fucked up thing. And I hate to bring this up, but it's the truth. Some of you guys might mistake me for being nihilistic and stuff like that. I'm not being nihilistic. It's just what the truth of the world is. You can take it or leave. You can deny it all you want to, or you can believe it. It's, it don't make no difference to me, but it is what it is, whether you want to ignore it or not. Whenever you have that family and everything's going good, and you got that smiling wife, and you got them happy kids, in the back of your mind, If you went broke, all that shit would vanish. I hate to do that to y'all. I hate to do that to y'all. Lord Jesus. That's why I saved it for the last end of the video. Because most people don't watch to the end. But if you watch to the end and you caught that, comment in the section. Comment a thought in the section below. Because that's a cold, hard truth, ain't it? You, everything's going well. Your wife's happy. She's doing well. She's saying I love you. The kids are happy. She's doing well. You guys are having fantastic sex and all that stuff. But if you went broke tomorrow or went broke for an extended period of time, all that happiness would vanish. All that. Dad, you're the hero. You're the man. Would vanish. Which gets into the last point. Because it just popped in my head. As a man. It's like your life is an audition. That never ends. Each and every day you have to perform. And if you do not perform. You will lose your job you will lose something and the moment that you start losing that's the moment your friends leave family leaves the women leave so don't ever put your focus a hundred percent on the woman or the kids because without those consistent wins there is no family. There is no kids. There is no loving wife. If you don't put winning first in your day-to-day -day career. So that's that. This was a harsh reality for you guys. But it is what it is. I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.